Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 3 with Haley, the girl that has no clue with what she's doing. <laughs> no, but seriously, I've done a lot of research and a lot of homework, so let's jump in. We got a lot to cover. So last time we were trying to figure out a way how to get wither skeletons so we can set up an auto spawner to get them to spawn. Well, have good news and bad news. I figured out how to get them. Uh, the way we're going to get them is using these soul vials. Soul vials are really easy to make. They just require solarium, which we just made uh, using our alloy smelter. Just take soul sand and gold, as well as, let's see, um, fuse quartz. Fuse quartz is just made from smelting down other quartz. So I got a couple of soul vials here. And so let's see, do we have any skeletons over there? Of course not. Now <laughs> we're ready to record. So the soul files are what we're going to use to actually capture our skeletons. We'll drop them in our little witch water over here. And actually what I have to do, I have to take that witch water out of the barrel and just drop them directly into here. Once the skeletons start spawning, I'll show you that process. But uh, like I said, we do have a lot of things to cover. Oh, is there one over there? I see some skinny legs. Run. Yep, there's two. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you this part so i'm going to grab a skeleton real quick let's turn our mob on back on and kill the rest of those guys and show you how easy it is so we had our witch water set up over here to make some soul sand so i just uh snatched some witch water out of there and put it in this little one by one section here so if i drop a skeleton into our witch water he turns into a wither skeleton and I have to pick him up fairly quickly but you can see there this soul vial now has a wither skeleton in it because he is a mean boy <laughs> you pick him up now uh, it's actually more to it than that this powered spawner uh, is not as easy as I thought it was going to be if we actually hover over and hit shift it says you have to combine it with a broken spawner and an anvil and the only place to get a broken spawner is in the nether and we don't have flight yet and like I said I don't want to just take a bunch of blocks and just go out a thousand blocks and probably never find a fortress. At some point I will have to, but I'd rather do it when I have flight. So I did some research and there is actually another type of spawner in here that works. It comes from the mod RF tools. Now this is kind of further on down the line, but it's not really all that hard to make. The only issue that I had was it required a blaze rod. Now again, have not been to the nether, but there is a way to get blazes um, in the overworld. So uh, blazes can be made. Let me see where to go. Let's see. Um, blaze rods. There's something that told me how to do it. Oh, I remember. Okay, so blazes can be made by spawning these little things called dolls, which I had up earlier. So if you see there is a porcelain doll, a blazing doll, and a creeping doll. The blazing doll is what we actually need. So the blazing doll is made from just blaze powder, which we get from sifting, redstone and glowstone, which we get from sifting, and nether wart, which you actually can get from sifting, soul sand, and string. <laughs> And then uh, it also requires a porcelain doll, which is just made from the porcelain clay and either a diamond or an emerald. Now the blaze, uh, blazing doll, let's see. I know somewhere it told me how to use these. Um, okay, well, either way. I remember how to use them from another mod pack. But let's, so let's go ahead and grab one of these blazing dolls. And if you actually, I know it's something that told me how to use it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you guys how to use it. So we're going to come down here to our little hidey hole in our basement. And I built this little room back here. Now there's going to be some things in this room we're going to talk about. Don't worry about it right now. We are going to talk about it in this episode, but this room has some machines in it. All right. So I've got a bucket of lava here. So if I drop the doll into the bucket of lava, you see that it says spawning. So we're just going to wait for that to finish spawning. I'm going to stand back, eat a little bit of chicken and 42 percent it actually goes pretty fast a lot faster than it did in uh, the other mod I was playing but that's gonna give us blaze and if we kill the blaze hopefully we'll get a blaze rod any day now any day there we go so I'm just gonna smack them a few times 
He's probably gonna set me on fire. There we go. Now he didn't drop one this time, but uh, I swear I got one earlier. <laughs> We all know if you kill blazes, you get blaze rot. So I was actually able to make the spawner, as you saw down there, uh, downstairs. Let me go back over here to the spawner so we can see the recipe. So once you get the blaze rod, you just need four pieces of redstone, a piece of rotten flesh, one ender pearl, and a machine frame. Machine frames are made from iron ingots, lapis, and gold nuggets. That gives you your spawners. Now, with your spawners, you also need, what are these things called? Close my book here. In the RF Tools manual, as you told us, we need what these, the da, da, spawner beans. There we go, beamers. So let's go over here and look at the recipe for beans. It's a matter beamer. And that just requires four blocks of redstone each. Uh, four glowstone and machine frames and you can see there we have the three machine frames now um, in order to work with these items here let me go back down come on go on downstairs I'm gonna have to make some elevators because I'm having trouble with ladders these days all right so the spawner requires a syringe filled with a mob essence so i've already got with a skeleton mob essence in there but let me just tell you how it worked the syringe it's very easy to make again all these things are easy to make it just takes time to get them set up you just need glass bottles which is made from three pieces of glass and then two pieces of iron ingots now um, to get your mob essence into your syringe if i hold shift it basically says use this to extract essence from the mob uh, the way you do that, you just smack him in the face. <laughs> you treat it like you had it as a weapon. Um, if I have time here, I'll do that. One trick, I will go ahead and do that just to show you guys. Uh, one trick is that these uh, withers, they will give you the wither effect unless you actually have a uh, in some kind of debuff on you. So I'm actually going to, we're going to make, a, remember we got in our, our loot bag. Four, five, six, seven. Oops, that's so more, more gold than I actually need. We had gotten a golden apple. It was a, yeah, the big golden apple actually. It gives you a wither uh, option or uh, to not get withered. So let's, uh, and you can see I did get a skeleton earlier. I got lucky with that. So let's go down here in a little hole because we don't want this guy pushing us all over the place. Go on downstairs. There you go. So I'm going to just drop a little wither, put them in the corner, and I'm just going to um, eat my apple. <laughs> I want to make sure I have all my stats there. I'm just going to punch him. Now he's just going to set me on fire, but uh, he's not going to give me the wither effect. So you see our little uh, syringe is filling up. And once it gets full, let's see, is it full? Am I hitting him? Yeah, when I hit once he gets full, there it is, it's full. If I hit him, he doesn't take that much more damage. So now I'm just going to take my cleaver and just smack him. Did that give me another head? That did not give me another head. But the head drops are very rare. So once you get your syringe full, you can go ahead and pop that into uh, the, the uh, spawner here. The beams, it doesn't have to be set up this way. This was the final way I had it set up from a video I saw earlier. You can actually set these up horizontally. But um, I'm actually going to change. No, I'll set it later. Um, the beams you just actually need to link to the spawner. So if I right click on that, see it says select a spawner as a destination. And I'm going to right click on the spawner. It says destination set. So you do that for all three of them. Now, because uh, if you don't have it set, me just actually show you I've got way too much stuff in my hot bar down here let me go ahead and break this one and set it back down you can see it gives you the error message not connected to a spawner so uh, if I actually do what I did earlier I'm going to right click on it with a wrench and this wrench I actually just made it's just made from electrical steel and the basic gear electrical steel we talked about last episode but I've uh, now I've right clicked on the matter beam and if I right click on the spawner, all of these are set. Now each time I right click on the spawner down here, it just turns it into a different direction. It's not changing anything, so don't worry about the way it looks. Um, so now that all three of these are connected, we're gonna actually go into our spawner here 
And I've got the, the syringe in here with the wither skeleton, but it gives you some information here. It tells you that it needs a bone, it's going to need some uh, netherrack, and it's also going to need some kind of food source. So I, and you're going to put each one of these into the matter beams. That's why we made three of those. So on the top, I originally put in a stack of bone. And in the middle one, I actually put in netherrack. Uh, the way I got netherrack, again, since I'm not in the nether, there's no uh, netherrack around, is this setup that I had where I was trying to make the um, the uh, ender stone, <laughs> end stone. You can use the same setup to make netherrack. Instead of glowstone, you actually use redstone. So I've got redstone going down into our barrel here, and the lava is going into the barrel. I went ahead and put a drum out here, so all the lava that's speeding out can go into the drum so it can continuously make lava instead of me just waiting for it to fill up. So I'm going to grab a few stacks, uh, not stacks, I mean just a few here. Uh, what I will probably do between episodes is make what, uh, the, some nether seeds. Uh, we'll look at the seeds here. The nether seeds are a tier 2 seeds and they require nether clusters which are just netherrack and soul sand. Um, nether essence, if I have 5 nether essences I can make 32 netherrack. So I said this is one way to do it but the nether essence is going to be so much better so I'll do that uh, off camera and get that seed made. So I've got some netherrack here, just going to drop down and back in our little hidey hole. And like I said, I was just putting that in the second one. I don't think it matters which one you put it into. Um, and the third one, I actually just chose wheat because I have a ton of wheat growing up there. I could have chosen anything that's going through this list. So we got potatoes, we got meat, we got uh, leaves as well. So any of those would have worked. This does, this setup here does require a redstone signal. So I used um, redstone conduits, which you can see here. And we did, we have not made those before. So I'm going to show you that. Redstone conduits are just using that conduit binder, but it uses redstone alloy. And redstone alloy is just made from redstone and silicone. So I've got some redstone conduits. These items also do require a source of power. So you can see <coughs> each one of these have the energy conduits connected as well, as well as the redstone. And I've got that pulling out here using a lever. So if I switch this lever, as long as there is, I, there are items in here. So initially this said 0 out of 0 0.1, 14.5 out of 0.5, and 12.9 out of 30. So I'm actually probably going to need some more wheat because I think that bottom one requires the most. So I see my wheat's already grown. Uh, I just did this a few minutes ago. So I'm going to make sure I have at least 30 wheat in there just so I can show you how this spawner will work. Again, the setup on it, it seems a little tedious, but it's so much, I think it's just totally worth it. And once I get enough heads, um, then we'll, we'll be able to go ahead and set up our room for our wither. Uh, we still have the dark iron growing, so uh, next week we'll be able to set up to start killing our wither. And we'll probably actually need to get some armor going too. So let's talk about that after I, I get this part finished. All right, so now I'm just going to fill up, make sure we have this full of wheat. All right, so I'm, uh, I don't have another apple on me, uh, but we're just going to show you how this works. So I'm going to switch the lever. It does take a while. Um, as you can see, the matter's filling in. And I think once this bottom one gets to 30, let's see. Yeah, it's just pulling out of there. I'll stand back here, but we should be able to see a skeleton spawn. Actually, if I hover over, it tells you there. And there's our <coughs> skeleton, and there's my dog in the background. <laughs> it actually made me jump. All right, so we have our, uh, see, I got the wither effect since I don't have, uh, that says I didn't eat the apple. Sorry about that. He gave me the chills. <laughs> but we can see that it is working, and it's pulling in the next set of items there. Uh, to be able to do our next skeleton. Now I'm using our sol solarium dagger. Look, it's got googly eyes. <laughs> because I actually need, let me turn this off. I don't want to wither away <laughs> while I'm on the episode. Uh, because I actually need um, not just the heads. 
the head to help us to be able to make one wither, but I want to be able to get a source of wither skeleton skulls going. And the way we're going to do that is through the crops. Uh, wither. To make the wither skeleton seeds, we need the wither skeleton chunks. So that's why I was using the solarium dagger uh, to do that. So I'll probably uh, try to get this a little bit more automated to see if I can get four solarium daggers. It took me a while to get the enderman daggers or the enderman essences. So I figure it will probably take me a while to get these solarium daggers. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, again, this is a very cheap setup to make, but it just takes a lot of time to get it set up. And I'll, I'll even be working through it to get it the way that I want before, um, before the next episode. The last thing I want to talk about is, let's see where we are in our book. We want to go ahead and start getting some of this armor. And the armor is a buildup. So the Supremium armor, as you can see here, uh, we'll start with the helm. They're all basically the same basic setup. Um, the helm requires, let's see, I don't want the one with the charm on it. Let me get the mystical, there we go, down here. So the helm, it requires, you know, this the five pieces here, but they're gonna require this armor core. And the armor core is where it's um, gonna be the most difficult part to get. Um, the main armor core requires the superior armor core, then the intermediate armor core, prudentium armor core, then the inferior armor core. The inferior armor core is just made from inferior essences, some leather, a base essence ingot, and a gold ingot. So the armor core is required for each one of these pieces. So starting with the inferior, you can see it's the same armor core. So we're going to need four of those for uh, each of those. The, the leather is actually going to be fairly easy to get. I don't have to kill my cows. <laughs> I only have a few. Even that little guy that's kind of hopped up over there. Uh, I'm not going to have to kill my cows. The leather is going to be easy to get. I'm actually just going to use our atomic reconstructor, drop some rotten flesh in front of it, and that'll give us our leather. So I'm going to build up on that off camera. Sorry, my dog, he is just going to town today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and make some of these armor pieces. I, I can easily make the ingots. The ingots require the base uh, base essence ingot, which are just those prosperity shards surrounded by an iron ingot. So I'm going to need one of those for each of these helms and also need it for the uh, the armor pieces. So I'm going to need four of those. Then we're going to upgrade that to the next level, the Prudentium, which is going to require that initial armor core surrounded by Prudentium essences and then a lapis and some gold. So we'll make uh, some Prudentium armor, which is going to require that inferior armor that we we're going to make earlier, uh, which is made from the base ingot. So you can see how it kind of progresses up. Uh, so we don't have to worry about, uh, we don't have to really worry about anything until we get to the premium armor, because that's where we're going to need those nether stars. So that's, I think that's all I needed to cover, because I'm going to do a lot of stuff off camera. Just referring to my board here. Sorry, just referring to my board, wanted to make sure because the episode is a little short, but um, since I wasn't able to get everything I wanted to on the last episode, we're kind of, uh, I did spend a lot of time off camera getting that set up. But I hope you found this got episode very informational. If you do have any suggestions or tips on how to do that better, again, the mob spawner that I wanted to use, I couldn't use it because <laughs> I need an actual spawner to work with it. So uh, I'll be killing wither skeletons off camera, trying to get those mob chunks, trying to get the wither skeleton seeds so we can get some more skulls. Uh, also, between episodes, I've got my dark still essence still kind of pumping up here so we can get a room that will be ready to kill the wither. And in addition, I've got uh, some, I'm going to be working on some armor. So when he does, when I do spawn the wither, he doesn't kill me that quickly. So I'm hoping that uh, between now and the next episode, I'll have everything ready to go. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you would like to support me in my little hobby here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you have any tips, tricks, techniques, comments, suggestions, or just want to say hi, <laughs> go ahead and leave a comment down at the bottom. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.